Hey Corona, Mr. Forbes here and I'm going to hit you in the head with my brain stick. Welcome back to Corona's 90 Second Lessons. Today, we'll be going over five misconceptions, falsehoods that are better known as things you may have learned that were wrong, but we keep telling the same stuff over and over. As a teacher, I can embarrassingly admit I've said a few of these. Well, no more, let's start the clock. If you throw a penny off the Empire State Building, you won't kill a person. Terminal velocity for a penny is about 50 miles an hour, which is not nearly fast enough to penetrate human flesh and bone. It would, however, probably hurt a lot. It's been rumored for a long time that sharks have some kind of miraculous gene that prevents them from getting cancer. Sharks can, in fact, get cancer. But the rumor still persists, mostly because uh, sellers of shark cartilage said that in powder form it can help treat cancer in humans. Now while no human has ever been cured this way, it has helped decimate the population of entire species. Need proof? Here's a picture of a great white shark with a cancerous tumor on its lower jaw. The Great Wall of China is not visible by the naked eye from space. Here's what NASA calls their most visible shot of the Great Wall from the International Space Station, taken back in 2004. Can you see it? It's right there. Astronauts on board said the only way they saw it was the snowfall that year fell in such a way that the contrast between the wall and Earth made it kind of visible. The picture was even taken with a zoom lens, so I think it's safe to say you can't see it with the naked eye. Okay, let's hit the pause button real quick. I don't want to take away from this impressive monument. Did you know that its official size is currently 5,500 miles long? To give you a little perspective, if we built the Great Wall along the coast of the United States, you know, in case we were afraid of Mongolian invasion by sea, it would stretch from Maine to Florida, then to Texas, then we can cover the west coast of California, Oregon, and Washington, and still have about 500 of the 700 miles of coastline for Hawaii. Sorry, Alaska, gotta leave you out, you're just too big. Okay, sorry for that, let's get back to the list. Vikings have never worn helmets with horns on them. At least, archaeologists have never found one, nor has there ever been illustrations of, from that time period of such an inefficient design for a helmet. I mean, think about it, why would you wear a helmet with handlebars that someone could grab and rip you to the ground? This myth comes from the 19th century, when German heritage was widely celebrated. In one of Wagner's operas, Der Ring des Nibelgugeln, the costume designer came up with a festive design. While they look cool, they are not actually based in any historical fact. Finally, if you ask an undercover cop if he's a cop, he doesn't have to tell you. This is an old Hollywood myth. It's not entrapment if they lie to you. There's never been any law saying otherwise. In fact, in court, it's considered reasonable that an undercover cop has to lie sometimes to get the information he needs to make an arrest. Whew! All right, well, that's good enough for me. I hope you learned something today. Students, go bug your teacher right now to write a 90 second lesson to put on CDS TV. I'll even write it for them. I just need volunteers. Well, either way, I'll see you next time on 90 Second Lessons. Stop.